Mom, look at it. I just realized you had... Oh my gosh, I looked at yours. I totally forgot I put it out. Get back in. <laughs> I haven't tried them yet. I haven't either. It looks good. Mm. Oh my god, Mom, the fish? Oh, I know. I remember when we first did this, you recommended a fish and it was... Oh, so she, she, she... Do you remember what it was? It was cod. Do not get cod. We didn't like cod. You know what cod is, right, Mom? Mmm. I heard. Dang, those noodles are good. <laughs> I heard cod is good for deep frying. Mom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mmm. We learned that it is sway, not sway. Sway. Because we called it sway. <laughs> I was loudly saying sway. As Shader Brothers and then the nice gentleman, not so nice, nice gentleman. Was he nice? He was like nice, nice, but he was like monotone, so mm. you couldn't really tell. So it's like, you want to talk to me, I know you do, but like, can you act like it? <laughs> um, he so kindly uh, corrected me. I said it's swag. 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 I bought these. What are those? We needed new games. Wait, that one's fancy, Mom. Okay, family table topic. Questions to start great conversations. <gasps> we have okay. this. We have good talk conversation cards. Okay. And then we have 88 great conversation starters for husbands and wives. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, the first one you were holding sounds interesting. Okay. I just got these, so I didn't even open them up yet. Should I turn this off for now? Oh, yeah, if you want. Um, Michelle and I have literally like gone through every single question game that I have in this house. Mm -hmm. So it's it was time for me to buy new ones, you guys, because the others I bought in 2020, you guys. Yeah. If you've been watching us since the COVID days, <laughs> Just to let you know, we've been we've all been friends for that long. Yeah, literally. We went through COVID together. We we really did all yeah. go to COVID to go go through COVID together. You good? You good? <laughs> Will you help me? Yeah. Thank you, mom. Wait, why is the box so fancy? It's so pretty. Oh, it just slides off now. Oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> Y'all don't need to know that side of me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some noodles while I wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slide off too great. Is it hard? Yeah, I'm trying to preserve it though. I don't know if you're gonna keep it though, are you? No, 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 I'm not, babe. Oh, good. well, Carl. Ain't nobody got time for that. <sighs> wow, this is delicious. Wow, this is fancy. Fancy. Let me get, let me get, let me get a little heat going down here. I think my broth is. Okay. Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah, Mom. I swear they're only like $10. This one's really nice. Want me to pull out? No. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. <laughs> okay. Um, no. <laughs> what? You know what sucks is usually they all recycle similar questions. Really? I'm sorry. When is it okay to lie? Um. <laughs> I think I someone think who's dying. Oh, I think that's a good time wait, to lie. I didn't think of it like that. I'm like, okay, what's an appropriate time to lie? I'm like, I would to lie someone to someone who's yeah. dying. Yeah. That was a good answer, Mom. Yeah. Okay, next question. Nice, nice. No, Michelle gave a really good answer. I didn't, I was too logical about it. <laughs> I was like, I'd never lie. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, where would you go if you were going to run away from home? To Michelle's house? Yeah, that's too <laughs> easy. Where would you have gone? I did run away from home in fifth grade. Oh my God, it's my favorite story. Tell the story, tell the story. Did my brother tell you yeah, that? We were how, eating. how dare he expose me like we that? We were eating boiling crap or something, and he was like, did you know that she ran away? And okay. I was like, what? Here's the thing, you guys. I was in fifth grade. Um, what had happened was 
uh, I came home from school early and when I was in fifth grade, I would come home from school early and then my mom wouldn't come home for another like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so I came home from school early and my neighbor came over to knock on the door to see if I could like play outside. Yes. So I was like, oh sure, why not? Like literally like we're neighbors. Like in the same cul-de-sac, right? Oh yeah, like, mom, literally, like literally like street. As my mom sitting here at the dinner table, you can see me, oh, you okay. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a trampoline. So her name was Madison. <laughs> and it's so cute because we were friends on Facebook and we were just talking the other day about like us growing up in that That's neighborhood. That's so funny. Um, but I went outside to play with Madison. I was jumping on a trampoline and um my mom came home, I think it was my mom, my brother came home. My, my brother's like my dad figure growing up, because um, my dad wasn't in the story. And so, he's much older. Yeah, he's much older than me. We're like, I think we're 12 years apart. Um, so they came home, they were really upset. I grew up in a very traditional, strict Asian household. Mm -hmm. So because I didn't ask for their permission, I was obviously in trouble. And I remember I got like a lecture about it. Um, Cause you know, like Asian parents, they start spiraling. They're like, you can get kidnapped. Oh yeah. You can get human, like children trafficking is a real mm -hmm. thing. Like, what if they would have murdered you? Yeah. Like, we've talked about this a couple times, and it's because our parents don't speak English. So yes. It's like, you know, their first concern is, oh my god, like who do I go to? Who? What do I do? You know. So they start yeah. spiraling. Yeah. I was in fifth grade, so what? Eleven. Oh my you, gosh, are you 11 in 5th grade? Yeah, because when you're in 7th grade, you turn 13. Yeah. So I was like 11. Yeah. 10, 11 years old? Yeah. So I got so mad at them, you guys, <laughs> that I decided I was going to run away to my boyfriend's house. I had a 5th grade boyfriend. That's, this isn't even the best part, you guys. You guys, that's <laughs> not even the best part. His name was Austin Miller. We love him. Um... He, so I ran, I knew where he lived. I think it was like maybe, shit, I'm not really good. Maybe two, two miles. Two miles. That far. No, two miles is far for a little, <laughs> for a little 411 girl like me. Uh, yeah. And at one point it was like literally like Ortega. Like you have to like, yeah, it was, what? it was bad, mom. What in the world? Did I not take you there when I took you to Pennsylvania? No. Okay, next time we go to Pennsylvania and visit York. There's a next time. <laughs> I'm going to take you, I'm going to show you the route I took to Shut run away. Up. Oh my God, I can't believe I never did that. Oh my God, you guys, you guys have to watch this on our blog when we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I ran away to Austin's house and uh, I snuck through the sliding door downstairs. So I literally crawled, I remember this. I, what time of day? I think I ran away around like six or seven. Oh, it was dark. It was like sunsetting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I ran. I like snuck down the hall and literally like spiders snuck down the stairs. What? And I left through the sliding door. Clearly, I'm really good at sneaking out and doing it my whole life because they never <laughs> caught me once. Um, literally walked and I remember. I remember halfway there, I got really scared. Like at this point in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna be homeless. So like. Am I sleeping in the woods? <laughs> Leave me alone, I was going through it. Like, am I gonna sleep in the woods? Like, cause there's like a whole wood. So at one point I start second guessing myself. So I stop at this lady's house. Poor lady was probably freaked the fuck out. We have like an 11 year old. And I was like, hi, can I use your phone? And she- What? Yeah, she gave me her phone. She gave me the phone. But then I got too scared of my mom and my brother. So I didn't dial, I just gave it back to her and oh, then I kept I walking. I did not know that part of the story. Yeah. So I kept walking, I get to Austin's house. He's not there, his stepmom is there. Mm -hmm. um, and she was like, hi. And I was like, hi. She knows who you are. Yeah, she okay. knows, yeah. Um, yeah, he proposed to me in fifth grade. She knows who I am. <laughs> what is this Austin doing? He I, he has a kid, the cutest kid in the Aww. world. And I think he's married, I don't remember. Okay. Um, we actually ended up dating again in high school. It's like the funniest that. thing ever. That is really funny. Um, but does he know the story? Oh, he knows. Oh, okay. It's okay. like an inside joke at okay. this point. Okay, okay. Um, and he was, he was, uh, I think out skateboarding with his friend Michael. I remember that. They're still friends. She remembers everybody's name. I it's know. It's a small town thing. It's, it's a small town. If you're thing. from a small town, please let me know. <laughs> Confirm or deny. 
But she was like, hi, Kim. And I was like, hi. I'm, keep in mind, I have a backpack. Oh, this is the best part. <laughs> this is what a fifth grader packs to run away. Socks. Underwear. That's it. Nothing else. Like, that was your biggest concern. Is socks and underwear. Nothing. No, no like, snacks, no water, nothing. No, not a shirt and a pant, like, pants. Snacks and underwear. Because, like, how were you going to, what were you going to wear to school the next day? I think this was on a Friday. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I'm covered for the weekend. <laughs> I actually don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, she was like, okay, come in. She was like, what's wrong? And I'm, like, crying. I'm oh, like, you're crying. I'm like, my mom hates me. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, like, is she getting abused at home? Oh. Like, she's probably like spiraling. And so then this, uh, his stepmom was like, okay, you can stay here. Um, let's wait for Austin to come home. He's with his dad. And so I think I sat in Austin's room for like an hour. Holy and god. yeah, Austin walks in and he's like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget his face. He was just like, why are you here? And I was like, I ran away from home. <laughs> And so then the dad walks in and Austin's dad's like, well, like, hey, Kim, like, you know, we're going to have to call your parents. And I was like, can I just stay here? And he was like, no, we have to call your parents. And I guess like my mom and my brother told me like during this time, they're like, they're, they're driving everywhere. They're oh, so they everywhere. figured it out. Yeah. So they figured it out. Obviously they start looking, they did not call 911 is what I've heard. Yeah. They did not call 911. Um, they just start driving around and they were like in the middle of looking and then that's when Austin's dad called and um, I and I they came and when they opened the door my mom was pissed. I've never seen your mom mad. She lit I I believe the first thing my mom so they opened the door and obviously my brother was like hi like I'm you know but my mom was like you are a brat I can't believe you put us through this like what were you thinking <gasps> she obviously eventually calmed down um, and like had a really serious serious talk. thing about side no scary yeah. thing Asian about moms just I know moms it. yeah like when they speak another language she said it in me oh yeah and then you know but everyone else thinks that it's like oh they're just talking yes. I'm like no my mom with her words yeah, basically. Yeah. But thank you for letting me stay. <laughs> Literally. So did she say like under her breath like pissed off? Mm -hmm. She was pissed. Oh my god. So then we get home. She comes in my room. We have a long talk. And then she made me like go apologize to my <laughs> brother. It was like this whole thing because I guess my brother was like having like an anxiety attack. Aww. Um yeah, and then I think Austin and I broke up the week after. He's like, she's weird. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for the ring back. Can you believe it? That S -O. I'm going to message him. I'm like, yeah. So that's how I ran away from home in fifth grade. Oh, my gosh. Has your mom ever yelled at you to the point her voice changes? Oh, 100%. Actually, not me. More like my brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, they definitely butt heads more. I feel like my mom mm. and I have a really good relationship. You do. Now that I'm older, obviously. Yeah. But, yeah, that's how I ran away. That's the story. So make sure if you're running away, well, don't run away from home. Don't I, well, run. I don't think you guys are, are you guys that young? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Are kids still running away from home in fifth grade? No, I will say that's very ballsy of me. Hell yeah. I have never ran away from home. That's ballsy. I was definitely a rebel, rebellious kid because my mom was so strict. Yeah, see, my mom wasn't as strict, yeah. so I definitely didn't feel like I needed to do... My mom was so strict, so I was a rebel. I see, you're, over, you're over the question? No, I just thought you could have one and then maybe oh, I could have one. Oh, okay. You know? Also, these cards are beautiful. If you could be the CEO of any company, what company would you choose? That's a good question. <gasps> We've never had this question before in the four that years. That's so true. Oh my gosh. Who's that rich guy that, like, literally... Have everything. Jeff Bezos. Is it him? The no. owner of Amazon. Oh, I'll gladly. Actually, no. Take everything back that I was about to say. Is this in Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos, yeah. Yeah. You would be Jeff Bezos? Yeah, but I was thinking of that guy. No, because I want him. <laughs> hey, no. That's not fair. No, you don't even know who he is. Do you know? I know. You know his name? Do you? I don't First know. First and last name? I don't know his name, yeah. but I know what he owns. I know some of the things he 
phone. Say it then. Those things. You don't know, so I get him. No. I want to be him. No. I want to be him. You know, that's fine. Honestly, Jeff, Jeff, is, Jeff, is, Jeff, is, Jeff is. But, <laughs> serious note, are you thinking about the guy that owns LVMH? Yes. Yes. L'Oreal? Yes. yes. I got you, girl. Yes. I got you. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I want he him. He owns everything. Wow. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't mind being a part of the, the Hunt family, the family that owns the Chiefs. They're worth $25 billion. I wouldn't mind that either. <laughs> you guys, if every rich person just gave me a mill. Oh my gosh, she says this in every single video. Girl, <laughs> honestly, if you get a mill, can you split it with me? That's exactly. Uh, no, I just want a quarter. Exactly. Just give me a quarter. Exactly. Yeah, I don't even, you, you deserve the majority of it. Honey, we getting you the fuck out of here. <laughs> <what we're> doing. <laughs> that saves me gas at the end of the day. Oh, if that were our neighbors. Mom, a dream. Yeah? Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Wow. To have that much money. You know what I would do? We would just go on vacation all the time. I was thinking about like saving people, like animals and... Okay, after we go on vacation. Uh, well, we have to come back. All our fur babies are here. Oh. They can't come with. Let's go be friends, Swift. Swift? Swift. Mmm. <laughs> okay, let me find a nut. I have a feeling that this, this deck does not have questions like that. You don't think so? Okay. Will you discipline your children in the same way you were disciplined? If no, what would you do differently? No. Were you spanked as a child? I feel like you weren't spanked as a child. I wasn't spanked, but like... Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> oh, I'm spanked now, but I wasn't spanked then. Goodbye. <laughs> you can X out now. <laughs> it's like Dennis Lee. <laughs> Spanked as a kid. <laughs> we have to giggle. Why did you say it? I wasn't spanked as a kid, but like, hey, get it together. Get it together, man. Okay. I wasn't spanked as a kid. Yes. But uh, consequences were like, I had to like be on my knees for like 30 minutes. Oh, I had to get that one. Oh my God, so it's an Asian thing. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. You sit against the wall and you sit on your knees? Yeah, so I have to kneel. Hands up? Yeah, that's why I'm so good at my knees. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I have Second to, chance to X out right now! <laughs> I have to kneel on my knees facing the wall for like 30 minutes. <gasps> oh! Yeah. In the corner? Yes. Yeah. I could and like no one else was allowed to talk to you. No one was allowed to talk yeah. to me. Isolation. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I don't remember any other consequences. What did you I had. do though? Sometimes I want to. Sometimes I want to so remember. I can't remember. Yeah, like I want to know what was so bad. I have really a strict childhood growing up, so I know. You know, I'm always really hard on me because I was. Well, she nipped it in the butt. I was about to be a pathological liar. <laughs> <laughs> I loved lying about my life. Oh, you did? Yeah, just because I felt like so mediocre. Mm. And I was like, I don't know where I fit in, so I'm just gonna like fantasize my life the way that I want it, you know? You're not alone. Because did you do it too? I used to lie a lot. Like do you remember I, to I told you? I didn't um I didn't like my middle name Ty. Yeah. So I lied. Oh yeah. And I would say my middle name was Anne because Kim Possible's middle name's Anne. Oh my so people would just be like, oh, oh. and then I hated my Asian first you went name. Kimberly. Yes. So they were like, is your middle name Kimberly? And I'm like, yeah, my name's Kimberly Ann. Because I wanted to be white. Yeah. Because all of my friends yeah. were white. And then I was, and then like things like Easter. Because you know, you come back from the weekend yeah. and you're like, what did you do yeah. for Easter? Or lying about vacations yeah, in the like, summer. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, what did you do this summer? Oh, I went to New York City. Really, I went to like Patterson, New Jersey for like <laughs> two <laughs> months. You went somewhere. Yeah, true. Hi. <laughs> you're awake. <laughs> we were just talking about being spanked. Oh, I got beat. Oh, okay, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, honey. <laughs> honey, we don't need to. <laughs> honey. It's okay. Men used to get hit a lot, too. Yeah. Boys are just so <laughs> rambunctious. 
Well, he after school would like go to his friend's house for like six hours and not tell Madre. Okay, I'm understanding why. <laughs> I wouldn't tell Madre. It's her fault. She didn't fucking. In... It's her fault. <laughs> we love you, Madre. <laughs> she didn't keep updated with the numbers. She didn't. So. Oh, Carla. <laughs> um, okay, so I I don't think I don't think like spanking and any of that really does anything mm-hmm. but make your kid more fearful of you. Mm-hmm. I really want to like raise the kids in a way where like you, you have to be able to explain to these like growing humans like what was the situation and what was wrong about it so they can learn from it. Like mm-hmm. if some if my kid is doing something bad at a young age and I go towards like spanking and, and obviously everyone can raise their kids differently. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a kid. But personally, for me, it's like I spanking y'all, not abusing. Yeah, like, spanking. spanking. We're just talking about spanking. Um, I just like I think it's more important to like sit your kids down and and communicate. Yes. Um, because I want our kids to like be able to like understand mm-hmm. that they can come to us mm-hmm. and talk to us about things that they're uncomfortable with. Yes. Like, I want to have those those uncomfortable mm-hmm. situations. And I felt like growing up, I was more scared of my mom mm-hmm. or scared of doing the wrong thing Yes. rather than understanding why I shouldn't be yes. doing that. Because if I had, I understood them, I probably wouldn't have done that. Exactly. You know, so that's kind of my take on it. I, I definitely don't think, I will say the only thing that I will probably like follow in my mom's footsteps is the whole sleepover thing, which yeah. is so funny because growing no, up, I agree. yeah, because growing up, like I didn't understand why I wasn't allowed to have sleepovers at like different friends' homes. Yeah, but now as I'm older, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. Which is a sad reality. Yeah, and I just I feel like if they're comfortable, if they're okay yeah. with it, like I would want the sleepovers here. Yeah. Um, but maybe their parent also thinks it the just same way. really. It's going to be hard, and I am so interested in how we're going to navigate, like, how you explain that to your child, though, because they are so in their childlike state. I know. They're not going to yeah. understand not the gonna knowledge get and, like, That's true. why we're so That's protective totally over true. that. Yeah, but other than that, like, I definitely think there is a line between being your child's best friend. Yes. And at the end of the day, which is like the most important part is being their parent. Yeah. But I definitely want to open the door to have like uncomfortable Mm -hmm. conversations because like I want them to be able to like call us if they're like at a party at two in the morning, like know that I have their back and I'm not going to judge them. Right, right, right. Because in a way, I kind of feel like we like felt judged growing up. Yeah. Like we were scared of our parents judging us. Oh yeah, for sure. But I think it had a lot to do with the fact that we are just lucky to be equally American and Asian. Now obviously, don't go in the comments and be like, wait till you guys are parents, then you understand. Well obviously, (laughs) but there needs to be discipline. Boundaries. Boundaries and discipline. Not in the discipline that we think, but discipline in the fact that like, you're held accountable for the things that you do right and wrong. Like you have to know, but piggyback, piggybacking off of what you were saying earlier about like no spanking and how you like obviously want to have communication with your kid yeah but it's like that that's so like that's the what am i trying to say Hmm. i agree with that because if the child is having a hard under what am i saying okay if the child is having a hard time understanding understanding, then they're not grown up enough exactly you know like kids to feel yeah. like it's okay to cry and have these feelings like yeah. you, if you're having a tantrum at like three years old I'm gonna let you cry and then let's talk about why you were mm-hmm. upset exactly you know am I maybe am I painting this picture of being a mom to be too perfect I don't think so and like I feel like I'll know when I become a mom yeah. but it's like trust and believe mm-hmm. I was raised in such a way where like oh, yeah. I don't want to be that way I don't right, want my right, kids right, to right. like grow up in such a strict environment yeah so i mean i'll let you guys know when i'm a mom obviously things, things are going to change you don't have to go and say your opinion yeah. all of that we things know are gonna change. Like, i know like i know parents that are like no screen time and now their kids are with ipads yeah like things, things change. change yeah but it's good to have like an idea yes. of how you want to raise your kids i also just feel like 
we all were parents for the first time at one point mm -hmm. and I just think let's just like all like be there and encourage each other and yes. let's like communicate and I not agree. judge people I agree. like with their parenting because mm -hmm. we all don't know what the fuck we're doing because not only do you not know what the fuck you're doing your kids are all different every kid is different yeah, yeah. You're, you're not gonna get the same kid like exactly you know some people have really great kids some people have difficult children and that's okay too yeah i also think growing up around my nieces and nephews being different ages different yeah. personalities different backgrounds i have been exposed to like multiple and like yeah. since michelle's very close to our family she has grown up with them as well mm -hmm. and i'm telling you every kid is different oh like so different it's like even I, just your brother's family like the kids all the three are, kids yeah. are so different yeah so different i mean not to like compare dogs and kids but obviously there are only children right now but they're different dogs are so different yeah. clementine oh my god it's like the opposite of like casper oh for sure yeah they're so different Okay, that was a good, good that was question. Good. good job. That was good. good job. Thanks. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> if you could switch the sounds that two animals make, which two would you choose? Wait, these questions are good. They're really good. Oh my gosh, I don't even. Hold on, let me think. Let me think, think, think. What was the question? Think, think. think. The question was. If you could switch the sounds that two animals make, which two would you choose? Like to choose two animals and then switch And then them. switch their mm -hmm. sounds. Cats and dogs. <laughs> Imagine Riley every time he barks. Yeah. Exactly. That's why. <laughs> what is a random fear that you have? She's scared of the dark. I'm scared of um, like mice and rodents and stuff. And Carlos is scared of the eagles losing. I am dead. Not Do you scared. have another fear, Mom? Oh, you have a fear of kind of like water. Water? I, yeah. Like semi. Oh, Mom, he's judging me. Hey, this is a non So if I get you a cup of water, you're going to No, no. <laughs> oh, my God. You want to fight? <laughs> um, Or do you have something else that's a little bigger than that? Because mine is spiders. Right after the dark, I'm almost thinking they're neck and neck, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good because I will, ki I will kill a spider for good. you. Good. I got you. Um, good. Honestly, my biggest fear, rodents. Like, anything that kind of okay. looks like a rat, I can't do. <laughs> I don't want to talk about okay. it. Okay. Next question. Next question. Okay. Ready? Yes. What social norm do you think is stupid? What's social norm dancing in public for tiktok Ooh, that is not a social norm and no, if you that's think that's a social <laughs> norm then you might I just be think the it's, problem i just think there's a time and place for like content creation yeah and i just don't think it's like yeah sometimes sometimes i feel like the not to like whatever gen z um, I feel like sometimes the younger generation, yeah. they just have like no filter, no yeah, like like etiquette. I feel like no, like that girl that was like, "Can you move so she can take a damn picture oh. of a neon light?" Yeah. I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, I forgot about that." Oh, I oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, what was or that? like. The or like you're like standing in line trying to get like uh, soda from a water fountain, and this girl's like. They're they're just like this yeah. all the time. They're just moving. If you didn't need to sleep at all, what would you do with all the extra time each night? No, I want to sleep. I like sleeping. I like to sleep. I love sleeping. But what? Uh, no, I can't even think of anything else. No, I day. gotta sleep. I I love sleeping. Yeah. Do you believe in any conspiracy theories? Yes. What do you believe in, babe? I can't say it. Okay, Why? that's fine. Just tell me later. <laughs> do um, you believe in any? I'm sure I do. You can't think of any. But, like, I don't ever go around being like, hey, do you believe this conspiracy? And, like, try to oh, spread the word. Can I ask you guys a question? I feel like aliens huh. exist. Aliens? Aliens? Oh, I think that is. Yes, I, I that's a conspiracy theory. I mean, technically it is. I think aliens oh, exist. I 100% aliens agree. are real. I think, I think our universe is way too big for us to see. I agree. Only, I, think, I agree. And I think they look like that, too. I don't okay, know. I don't know about that one. I you don't, don't think they do? I think they look like us. I don't know about how they look, but I do feel like... 
Oh my god, anyone who's mean to me, I'm calling an alien. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's kind of, like, really... Um, I don't know how to say it. Like... It's really naive to say that we're the only life form in this entire Yes, universe. selfish. It uh, is self uh, no, no, selfish. No, not selfish. It's more of like, oh, I just don't think it's possible. I mean, small our universe minded? Is, our yes, universe is way small too, minded. Yeah, our universe is way There's too definitely too aliens, you yeah. guys. Maybe not exactly like us, but I think like maybe pointy ears, but like... Have you guys watched the movie Arrival? Don't watch it. I hate that movie. It's, a, it's not a bad I movie. I hate that fucking movie. That movie pisses me off, and I hate that you upset. guys you both use it against me all the time. You were upset because you thought it was going to be an alien movie, and the whole prank. The whole fucking time, they're playing fucking charades. <laughs> they're trying to figure out how to communicate with them. Lame. That was the whole premise of it. You know what? I think I hate it more because I spent $35 oh, on it at the oh, win or the encore. But not only that, I fell asleep on you. You know, I never finished that movie. No, you never did, I just fell asleep, and then I woke up, and she said, I found my aunt. That's how that's how that day went. <laughs> it's, not, it's not terrible. Do you believe in one or more of the following? Ghosts? Yes. Yeah. Do we believe in ghosts, babe? Yes. Aliens? Yes. Yes. Bigfoot? No. I think the whole Bigfoot thing is stupid. Do you believe that the Loch Ness Monster exists? that we haven't seen yet and stuff. But Can you have a fear of the unknown? Yeah. Okay, I think I have a fear of the unknown. I mean, thinking about, the dark. like, thinking about space in general, like, it's just really creepy. Ooh. Like, just... Oh my god, when I found out space didn't have the stars that I grew up learning you... about, <laughs> oh. and oh. I realized that it's pitch black. It's literally just pitch black. Yeah. Aren't stars, like, years after they die? Like, we see them after, like, they've yeah, already... Are, yeah, so basically yeah. what we're seeing is just, like, they're all dead, like they've all blown up and stuff. Yeah. We're just barely. How crazy them. is that, Mom? Okay. Wait, but then what about the ones that are like always there? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh. I don't know about those, but I know that a lot of them are just they've blown up and they, they're dead. If the sun blew up, we'd be dead, right? Yes. <laughs> That's how that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to trade lives with someone in this room, who would you trade with and why? Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> I want to be Cooper. I want to be Cooper for the day. Literally one of the dogs. <laughs> I want to be Cooper. I want to be Coopy too. Yeah. If you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? <gasps> one song? I don't like one song that much to listen to it for the rest of my life. Hotel California, but only the 1994 live version. Very specific. She's been thinking about this. It's too long. Yeah. I, I, I Nothing from Cousin Stiz. <laughs> Is that really Cousin Stiz? Like, Cousin Stiz really exists? I think so, right? Yeah, that's the vinyl that I yeah. have. Oh. Remember he has a song named Gangsta? No, okay. that's Schoolboy Q. Oh, Schoolboy Q. <laughs> <laughs> Just Tama. What's a movie that you're embarrassed to admit you like? I'm not embarrassed at all. I like all the movies. I like all my Disney movies. I know some people feel weird about it, but... If you could know the truth about any mystery, which would it be? Oh... Do you guys know the case about, um... Did we really land on the moon? Mm. Okay, do you guys know the case about, um, John Benet Ramsey? <gasps> yes. The little girl that yes. was found, that apparently was kidnapped, but then they found her in the basement hours later. Yeah. And yes. till this day, they haven't solved who killed her. Because it was the brother. Oh my That's god, funny. so you believe it? I do. That's a I theory. Think really I bad. think, I think, poss possibly, I think that the brother... Accidentally. Accidentally killed her. The parents freaked out, put her in the basement, and then they plotted this whole kidnapping thing. But the but fact that they haven't figured it out. There's no DNA. Oh, but the DNA is people who live in the house, so there wouldn't be really... Yeah. But, oh, my God. But wasn't the, the brother was extremely young, too. Oh, I, just, I know. I just got the this, chills. Yeah. Might be the wind. I don't know. That, too. It's getting a little cold. So, you know what I found? What? I was deep in like mystery TikTok. Don't yeah. do that two in the morning. Then you can't sleep. Why do you? <laughs> um, <laughs> so another thing, another clue that I learned about in the case was that night there was a bowl of cereal okay. on the kitchen table 
um, but it looked like a kid did it because uh, they were eating out of a serving spoon. You know how kids, they don't know, they like, want, yeah. Yeah, so it was a bowl of cereal, which happened to be like the brother's favorite or something, and the ser it was a serving spoon. And everyone saying, what if the brother went downstairs, made himself a bowl, and she wanted a bite? They got into a sister brother fight, and he pushed her down the <gasps> stairs, and she died in the basement. And I that's think it was a brother. I think that's what happened. I think they covered it up and they said, oh, well, if, if they find out that it was him, we're going to lose both our kids. So yeah, kind of just, you know. Yeah. And I guess like when the police came, like they escorted the brother out because he was so young. So they never questioned him or something. I also want to know, and let me know if they found her because I thought I heard rumors, but there was this family that went on a vacation and their daughter was taken from the the what? villa that they were staying in yeah she they were like gonna go to it was like a whole villa thing and they were at their room and then mom and dad put their daughter to bed and then they were out like to dinner or drinks with friends in the same villa i believe and they came back and she was like gone oh i think it kind of that sounds familiar yeah but it's been like years the years. you know what show i hate on netflix hmm. unsolved mysteries <laughs> Well, why do you watch it? You know, well, it's, it's okay. Title. First of all, home here turned it on, and I didn't know it was called Unsolved Mystery. After the third episode, I was like, "Mom, none of these are solved." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, it's unsolved." Yeah, that's great. Remember, remember when we were all at the hotel last year after Jose and Gabby's wedding? Yes. We watched Unsolved Mystery, and yes. that girl, she yeah. got, she got. Okay, you guys, there was this girl, and. Um, she had, she came home one night from like a party or something yep. and her mom was like, oh, her mom went inside the house first and like she stood outside because she got a phone call and when her mom came out, like she, her mom couldn't find her daughter and like her phone was like found at the end of the driveway yes, yes, and there yes. was like, uh, there was, uh, they had like a, a security camera above their house yeah. and it caught the daughter getting in a car with someone and literally an hour later, her daughter's body was found like cut up into pieces by the railroad tracks. Yes. And to this day, they don't know yeah, I what know. happened to her. I don't understand. I, I didn't understand. sleep for nights. I know. I, it sucks because I love watching Unsolved Mysteries. I love watching 2020, but I know that I'm sacrificing my sleep the next few nights. <laughs> Really? I just I take it so personally. Oh, I've I've learned to just cut it I out. I can't cut Unless it out. Unless it's really scary. I can't cut it out, mom. Oh. It's but I love watching them. I know. I think that's also why like I'm so like anxious and anal because I watch too many of these investigations oh, stuff. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay, wait a If you could swap bodies with any person in the world for twenty four hours, who would you choose and what would you do? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to be in Kim K's body. Ooh. Just want to know what it feels like. Oh, I would. I want to take a shower in her bathroom. Why are we shaking? Because <laughs> when I think of Kim K, <laughs> that's how I think. I'm just like, I want to know what it feels like. Even though I know it's like kind of real. Yeah, like I want to know what it feels like to have such a tiny waist and like such a big ass. I want to be Taylor oh, Swift so I can figure out how her brain works when she writes songs. Mm. I also want to be in her private jet. I just want to be her for like two minutes when she's standing at her concert just to see and oh, feel just and then I don't want to finish. Same. She can come Same. back and finish. If you could go to Mars for free, would no. you go no? Absolutely not. We're not interested. They need to stop adding this question in because they, I ain't going. We're not going. Never. Have you guys seen Outer Space? I also think you have to be fit for that. I'm pretty sure there's a criteria that you yeah, have Yeah, and we don't. We, oh, honey, yeah. I surpassed that a long time ago. If you could ask a question to anyone in history, what would you choose and what question would you ask? Hmm. In history. I feel like it needs to be a good one. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I just let the, the the dead just rest in peace. I don't want to ask them. Yeah, like, why are we bothering them? I feel like they lived a good life. I'm going to go with just let them rest in let peace. Let them rest in peace. <laughs> we are just such an answer, answer. What animal would you, would be the cutest if it were the size of a rabbit? Riley George. <gasps> yes. 
Riley, the oh my god, uh -huh. he's sleeping. He is the size of the dining table. No joke. That's for sure. Pick one word to describe each person in this room. Oh, one word, mom. Make it good. Also, we'll play this next time. That was really yes. good. Are you thinking of a big word? Because my vocabulary is limited. Sometimes Michelle says big words and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> no. Okay, I one. think. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Oh. One word to describe you. I know a word, but I just feel like this word is so basic. That's okay, Mom. I think you are. Oh, I, can't. I think I have a word. Yeah. Courageous. Oh my god, mine's so basic. Mine's like fucking like leapfrog over here. Leapfrog? <laughs> Courageous? Uh huh. Hmm. So I only, I, I use one word to describe you all the time, and I don't use this word for a lot of people. Because mm -hmm. like I feel like not a lot of people are this, and I'm grateful that don't you are. Don't make me fucking cry. Oh my god, are you gonna cry? <laughs> you're like, I think you're gonna Wait, cry. what's your why? I think there was a why. No, there wasn't. There was not a yeah, why. There was. No, there wasn't. Come on, give it to me, sister. Why am I courageous? Um, I think you're courageous because we always cry in every month. I know. Hey, how are you gonna get through the maid of honor speech? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna be like, hi, everyone. <laughs> Um, I think you're courageous because I want to be more like you in the sense where you're just very, and I think it was the way you were brought up, but you were just, you just know what you want and you don't doubt yourself like mm -hmm. ever. I just go for it. You're just, you're scared, but mm -hmm. you still do it. Like yeah. you're not ever like, oh, but I don't think I can do it. You're more just like, oh, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, you know, yeah. you like don't have self-doubt. You're so strong and independent in the way that you're like, I'm sure of what I want and this is how I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I like that most about you because I wish I had some of it, mm -hmm. but I don't, but I like watching you do it. No, you do. I feel like I've, I've no, learned a lot. I definitely think younger you was very scared. Mm -hmm. But I think in the last five years, you definitely, oh, like, yeah. I think if I was, like, if I'm definitely, like, impulsive in that way where I jump to it. But you'll yeah. still do it. I know. You just like to make sure that you bought insurance <laughs> for it, that you bought, that it's safe, and that you have cushions everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just go, fuck you, see you later. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. I come back and don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> insurance she'll go and do it and then tell me how and what to do and i'll be like great yeah, that's good, good. let's yeah. go but there are some things you do that i'm like i would never do that's that true. that's true yeah okay so my favorite word to describe you is loyal i'm gonna cry stop i think it comes with being 30 i think it's <laughs> it just comes with you know when someone commented they're like kim it's okay to feel i know it's okay to feel <laughs> But I'm feeling a little too much the last year. You guys, everything, everything. Oh, Cooper looked at you. Why, why did he look at me? Do you not cry? I do. Not as much as you, though. Mom, but I'm not 30. Like, I so start crying. Like, <laughs> you know what it is? I think I just started appreciating things more. Oh. Yeah. No, I get that. <laughs> I'll let you know next year. What if I start feeling even more appreciative? You know, if you start crying, that's fucking weird. Yeah, that's true. Because you don't I'm cry. Not the crier. I'm no. the crier. Yeah. I'm a hard ass on the outside, but I'm crying. You, you are. <laughs> you know? I know you are. Um, anyways, Michelle would be loyal. How do I put this? I feel like people don't understand how loyal you are. No. She is just so loyal, and I don't I want to explain it in a way where people go like, wow, I wish I had that. Because I guarantee you guys don't have that. <laughs> No, I've Michelle, not met a lot of people like me. It is so hard to find a friend that, you know what? I'm not even going to say friend. I'm going to say a, a person because this can go for anything. It is so hard to find a person, let alone a best friend, that you like never have to question 
where this friendship is going. Like, I we never have to question our friendship. I'm gonna cry. Oh my fucking god. Bless you, honey. honest conversation. She has an amazing friend. We have amazing friends. Yeah, like, I'm just saying this in a very honest, like, conversation, um, just about life. Some people have friends, and then some people say they have best friends, and then you just, like, know when you find, like, your person. Mm -hmm. Like, you, I, like, first of all, you feel safe with each other. We never have to question each other on anything. I never once have questioned Michelle's loyalty or her honesty. Like, I know that she would never, like, do anything to, like, put our friendship in, you know, a situation where it could mm -hmm. be broken. Yeah. Like, jeopardize our friendship. Yeah, that's the word, jeopardize. Jeopardize. <laughs> I could not think of the jeopardize word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Mom? Yes. Yes. But I think we are extremely fortunate to have... We're loyal and honest. Yeah. But yeah. I also feel like we get each other. The little, little, yes. little tiny things. We just get each other. That's true. We really match up. And it took a very long time to get here. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. By the way, you guys, this did not happen overnight. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we've been friends for 10 years. And next year will be 10 years of I being friends. I met him when I was 19. I was 20. Yeah. And so. I'm 30 and she's 29. So it took a while to get, but mm -hmm. I would say like 20... When we turned, uh, I would say like 2019. Yeah, it was when I was 25. Yes, so I think 2019 was when I was like, okay, like I know what our friendship is, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like we didn't really, we've been solid for years. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you just continue learning about each other and like growing up, but that's part of just like friendship. Yeah. Friends are hard to find, mother. They are, and yeah. I feel so bad when... I know the I feel so lucky. Yeah, I feel so lucky, but I also feel so bad that, like, some people won't get to experience having a best friend. Even, yeah, yeah and it's rare for, like, a yeah. best friend like you and me. But I guess a lot of people would see it in siblings. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I'm very close to Maiden, and the way yeah. that I feel safe with Maiden, I feel safe with you. Yeah. So I guess that's the closest I can, like. No, I agree. You know? I agree. Because I've never had a sister, and I feel like you would be. Like a sister. We literally yeah. have like sisters. Literally. Yeah. No, I love that about us. I know. What's the last well, question? I know. Are you going to cry? Stop. Oh. Are you crying? No. You want to get spanked? No. <laughs> Talk about yourself. I do. <laughs> Shit, I'm down. <laughs> do you like a good choke? And a hair pull? Carlos choked to me once. <laughs> Do you like a good choke? You uh, like being choked? No. I think he accidentally like slid his finger over too, too far. Cause you know, like if they press. Yeah, it, right? you know you're not supposed to hit the windpipe. You're only supposed to do the side. Dude, go tell him that. Well, you know, wouldn't you like to know that he doesn't know how to do it? I'm yes, no, I'm exactly. right. But I will choke him right back. I ain't, a bitch ain't dying. No, this Scorpio ain't dying. Uh -uh. <laughs> I prefer a spank more than a choke. 